Another question I frequently get is, should we paint the roof? Hello, my name is Amanda Hart, and I'm an architectural color consultant. This is a progressive video discussing how to select the best exterior paint colors for the Marine Colony condominiums in Pompano Beach, Florida. But you can watch to discover what's best for your building too. We discovered in the last video, should we paint the brick, Painting the brick creates a permanent condition requiring increased maintenance and cost that's in the end less durable than what you already have and will end up looking worse than the existing natural clay color. The cement roof tiles are in the same category as the brick. They're a natural, multicolored material all the way through to the core. If you do not like the color of your roof, you might pressure wash it. If you have a problem with your roof, you would repair it. Finally, you could wait until you need a new roof, about 30 years, to select a new roof color. And I have news for you, there may not be any more cement tiles. The next roof may be solar. That's the best roof, the one that starts to pay you back in five years. Right now the cost is too high to be a consideration, but that is what the future holds. The short answer is no, you should not paint the roof tiles for all the same reasons we should not consider painting the brick. If you still really, really want to paint the roof, please refer to the long answer in the video titled, Should We Paint the Brick? for a more detailed analysis of why you should not paint the roof tiles. While we're taking a look at the roof, let's not forget to observe the colors. I think the current roof color looks pretty nice with the dock color. As we move into analyzing colors, here are some existing colors to note that naturally blend with the geography. They may or may not come in handy later. <gasps> and now it's time for our pop quiz where we get to practice building our design muscle. Let's approach this question, should we paint the roof, entirely from a design perspective. Forget about the cost and maintenance for just a moment. Would the roof just plain look better gray? I, I want to know. Let's use the three tests we discovered in the video, what is beautiful about my building, and apply them to the question, would the roof tiles look better painted gray? Number one, keep the landscaping the focus. Would we lose focus of the landscaping if the roof tiles were gray? Would the branches of the tree trunk disappear? It's alarming, I know. Well, we don't have to guess at this. This is a visual art. The roof will reveal the answer to us. Here is Marine Colony with a gray roof. Because the sun illuminates the roof dramatically and the tree trunk is in shade, there's still plenty of contrast. The roof would have to be almost black to lose the contrast. So the answer to number one is no. The tree trunk does not disappear with a gray roof. The landscaping is still the focus and the gray roof passes the landscape test. Number two, make the building background. Would the building become more invisible or more background if the roof were gray? Well, gray is certainly a neutral background color, but this is sort of a tricky question. The building needs to offer contrast or change where it meets the landscaping to accent it. We want the building to be different than the landscaping in a passive way and let the landscaping take full front center stage. Does the gray roof provide contrast in a passive way? I would say yes, there's, there's still contrast. The gray roof is still lighter, horizontal, and straight behind the tree, which is darker, vertical, and organic. The gray roof offers less contrast than the, the clay roof, but I think it still does pass the background test. Okay, two for two. And number three, the brick is the buddy. Is there a loss of brick with the gray roof? Well. There's no visible brick here. However, does the roof relate to the brick? Yeah, the, the clay roof does remind me of that natural clay brick color and texture. I feel there's a relationship. 
It almost feels like there's a loss of the brick color and texture with the gray roof. Plus the scale of that roof is so large it actually balances the scale of that tree. Perhaps the gray roof is out of bounds, uh, too much gray, a little too dull with the tree. In the end, no, the gray roof does not pass the third test. It does not make a buddy out of the brick, it eliminates it, which will only make the existing leftover brick look worse and very out of place. Don't get me wrong, by using this example, I'm not suggesting we even consider painting the roof because it's just not practical. My point is, we can discover the answer to every design question and every paint question by applying our three tests and allowing the building to reveal the answer. Have a colorful day, my friends.